obviously red and brown because we have some loss of red cluster but nevertheless some traces remain with uh, you see some even some cartwheel is evident but very pale cartwheel when I tilt the coin so it is about uncirculated or briefly circulated surfaces are mostly clear of contact marks I mean no large contact marks here we have one patination dark is it dark gray or it is dark gray and gunpowder toned I guess yeah some carbon spots here as well tiny spots uh, several scratches but no it's just bag mark I guess so bag marks mostly happen when minting process the coins struck like this each other edge of other coin strike like this during the fresh minting and they get coins like uh, uh, back marks like this one and sometimes they even get deeper by coaches so very nice specimen about uncirculated but nevertheless not a, not rare coin just about uncirculated worse maybe a few cents more than its face value due to copper melt value but even from after 1982 they struck pennies in copper plated uh, copper plated zinc planchets therefore we have very thin layer of copper here therefore after time of circulation they get darker and darker exposing the underlying if, especially when they are <coughs> worn too much I've seen when they exchange a lot of pockets and hands they get the underlying underlying layers ex layer got ex get exposed and it gets darker and darker but nevertheless let's check the value market value of this coin in higher condition you see the difference is obvious from uh, red and brown to red mine coin is red and brown this one is fully red and lustrous so it's obviously much higher condition now let's go start from lowest mean state which was presented submitted so somehow two two submissions was recorded at pcgs i don't know who would send ms62 lower mint condition towards mm, grading 1989 is not rare issue here you see also 7.2 billion so in lower mint condition they are massive massive uh, they are easily located and they are in abundance out there you can find it anywhere so i don't know how how they thought about sending this kind of coin for grading nevertheless so ms63 the guiding price starts something around six dollars but here also we have six submissions but now you see it is reasonable these kind of grades for sending for grading ms64 they got you see population getting much higher 61 and guiding price is just one dollar higher than previous one seven dollars around seven dollars and starting from ms66 MS as you can see we get 14 dollars ms67 42 dollars but again it is just guiding price it's not fixed price as everything in coin market everything depends on uh, supply and demand correlation basically you see it is showing 42 guiding price 42 dollars but 
if you check actual sales records you see fifteen dollars fourteen dollars twenty three dollars so meaning see demand for um, ms60 gems dropped drastically within last decade therefore you have to always check sales records therefore i uh, before before re refer to ebay sales records goes to know to get grasp of actual market value you have to check out the listings of sales and not guiding price but nevertheless guiding price helps somehow to know probable value of your coins so ms 68 are considered superb gems with non numerically finer so nobody has achieved ms 69 with their coin penny but nevertheless we have two with plus designation superb gems and ms 68 just presumes that 46 coins from that 7.2 billion this is just a population of pcgs not ngc or other enix or others but nevertheless it's not a large number below 50 and the guiding price is just 400 dollars therefore it's not uh, 1989 is not considered rare issue in lower mean state grades or even higher mean state grades as they are as they, some uh, one criteria for that is that this happens why because you get very sharp strike you get fresh dies a lot of fresh dies therefore meaning most coins came sharply struck therefore they are not that rare to find as compared to other dates so ms68 is around 400 dollars but ms68 plus you see over three thousand dollars if you believe you have 1989 specimen example is in uh, perfect condition fully red luster vibrant luster uh, crisply struck and no large distractions you should definitely send it for grading certification and then you can submit it for coin auction and get large premiums from that thousands of dollars as indicated by pcgs